All right guys, Jason from The Glitter Guy here, and today we're gonna take these plain white sneakers and we're gonna turn them into some of these cartoonified sneakers. Guys, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit all the buttons uh, for videos like this in the future, or maybe not like this, but you know, I'll be crafting. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna cartoonify these plain white Airwalk sneakers with uh, these Marabou alcohol-based sketch markers that I have. We do have the sketch markers on the website. Links will be below. The Airwalks I ordered from JC Penney's online, they were $20 a pair, and I felt like that was a pretty good deal. So I actually got two pairs in case I mess these up, but I'm not gonna mess these up because I don't mess nothing up. What I want to do, if you guys haven't seen any cartoonified sneakers, is I wanna uh, first kind of choose a color palette. I haven't really chosen one yet, but it's all about the bold lines for the cartoon look. Bold lines and thick shadows. Between the, the heat set, there's six markers in here, and then in the uh, Sugarholic set, there's 12 markers. Only two of them are the same, the black one and the kind of olivey green one. But I think it's good to have two of the black ones. I know the black one is nice because I did use this a bunch previously. Judging by the color options I have, because I want a light and a dark option, some orange, some green, and some blue. It looks like I could do pink if I wanted to. And then I have my two black markers. Oh, the yellows are the same also. Three of the markers are the same between the two sets. I've really been kind of wanting to do orange, so we're just gonna do orange. Where all of the stitching is, I'm gonna be outlining in thick black lines. So if you go over a little bit when you're doing the color, that's okay, it'll get covered up. Get the laces out, add a little embellishment on those as well. We'll do that at the end. I think I'm gonna put orange in the middle. Then it'll kind of look like a band almost. Stop talking about it. Blue there, blue here. Green up here, with the green there, and the green here. Yep, mm hmm. Yep. This I based out all the lighter colors in the areas. I like, I like it. Before I move on to the black outlines over the stitching and everything and the embellishments, I just wanna add the darker shade, basically the shadow area of each color box. So I was gonna take my pencil and kind of draw out how I wanna shadow this, uh, just so that I have, you know, somewhere to, like a guide. Also, I can kind of see if I'm liking what I'm coming up with. I 
I saw it in a video that I was watching actually of a guy doing shoes and it's heat activated that when you apply heat, it vanishes. It's like a pencil. So you can do exactly what I'm doing with marking this up and then paint over it and then go back and hit it with heat and the lines just vanish. It's actually super awesome and I don't own any and I'm sad. I want this A to be yellow, I want the circle to be black, and we want the middle of it, ooh, that was spooky, be, I guess, the lighter. That was the correct decision. All right, now comes the actual fun part, the actual cartoonifying. It's all about the black outlines. We just want to go over all of our stitching areas. I wish I had a white marker. If I had a white marker, I could do even more. <clears throat> Unfortunately, these sets don't come with one, but the black will do just fine. I just could have done a little bit of extra with the white to try and make sure your lines with your black marker come out as clean and straight as possible because they're supposed to be the outline of the cartoon, essentially, and cartoons don't have shaky outlines that's one thing they do have they have bold straight solid outlines and the shadows the same thing bold chunky solid shadows that's two-tone that's what helps sell the cartoon look is just two-toning your colors and chunking the shadows out And then we're also going to just add lines at the angles to help just sell the look, right? So I accidentally had a dot there, so I'm just going to actually embellish it a little. We're going to just keep on doing that in the different areas. Shoelace. We're just gonna take the shoelace and do black outline from across the edges.
So I'm gonna outline on the sole this piece in black. I feel like it'll just help, I don't know. I wanna do something with the sole and I just don't know what. So I feel like at least just maybe add an outline and then I'll feel better. But then also I might just ruin the shoe. Now I kind of want to color this whole area in that's now outlined as white, black. I think it'll just like really just really fully frame the whole shoe and clean up any of the uh, imperfections of the colored markers. Let's just do it. I have a black outline on the top and bottom, so I should be able to kind of freely color in and not get into the other stuff. I'll do the top edge with the finer tip. And put the shoelaces in too. I really want to outline the word airwalk uh, on the tongue, but it's in, it's like very fine, and I don't believe that my tip on my marker is fine enough. I think I literally need like a fine tip black pen. That is one complete shoe. Obviously, I have an entire shoe that's incomplete. For time's sake, I'm gonna do that on another day. For the sake of the video, I think you guys get the point with one uh, complete shoe. The sketch markers, I really, I really do enjoy working with these. I said it when I was playing with them in my live that I wish that I had been uh, using these sooner because I have actually been selling these markers for quite some time now and I just haven't had the opportunity to use them. They came out super well on a plain white shoe. The black marker, especially for the outlining and everything, I really like the black marker. They're linked down below and I don't think there's any reason it'll change before the video, but all the markers and stuff are 60% off on the website. So they're a really, really good deal right now. Don't forget guys, like, subscribe, hit all the buttons uh, and stay up on our videos in case I end up actually finishing this pair.